Well, good afternoon carpers. And here we are again on the bank. And like I said in my last blog, we are at Acorn Fishery. It's Easter Monday. Booked on for six o'clock. And was allowed on a little bit earlier. It's now five o'clock, so grand job. That is a bit of a bonus. Not much traffic really on the motorway on the way down. M5 was at a stop for about five, ten minutes, but that's about it. But you expect that with the M5. Apart from that, was all good. But anyway, like I say, we're at Acorn Fisheries. And we're here on the main lake. And we're on Peg 5. And we have a hut. And yes, like I said to you last time, there she is. She's with me on this one. Most disappointed that she didn't come on the last one, but I made up for it. She's here today. Rods are out. They've been out probably about five minutes now. She made me a brew. Bless her. So, yeah, so we just, fingers crossed, we can get a carp on the bank from Acorn Fisheries. Never been here before. It's always been on my hit list, and it's a stunning little lake, if I'm honest. Um... Water level looks a little bit high, but not being here before, I don't know if it really is, but it's um pretty much up to the swim where the um, platforms are for the broad pods. It's pretty level with that, so I imagine it's up a little bit like everywhere else is. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, here we are. Yeah, again. And uh, yeah, so just got open pray that we get one. So until something carpy happens, or I update you with nothing going on as yet, I'll, uh, I'm going to drink this, watch the water, and see if I can see any shows. And then um, I think there's about three fish come out during the day today, um, from what I can gather or been told. Um, Yeah, so, yeah, sorry, I was just looking, I don't know if I parked my car in the right place or not, but I've parked it there and I've got two people looking at it, I don't know if I parked in the wrong, wrong place, I'm sure they'll tell me to move if, if I'm in the wrong place, not unless it's sawn after the shop, I don't know. Um, yeah, so three fish have come out today, apparently, um, but yeah, I think it's... Um, it's not quite full up. There's swim three available and swim four, which are bivy swims. Um, and it looks like a couple of other swims further on past um, peg four, peg three. There's someone in peg three. And there's a couple of pegs next door to him, which are bivy, bivy pegs, and um, there's no one in them. So all the huts are taken, but no bivvies on. No bivvies up. From what the forecast is going to say it's going to be. I don't know if it's worth bivving in a bivvy to be fair. So it's nice to have a hut now and then. But um, that was one of my reasons why I wanted to come here. is Because it's like, especially this time of year. You can go fishing, not worry about getting your bivvy wet and soaking and muddy and dirty. And try and struggle to wash it out. Uh, dry it out and whatnot and clean it. So with a bit of luck. Fingers crossed, it's going to be a dry one, but they say it's not going to be a dry one. We've had a shower probably about 10 minutes ago, lasted for five minutes, but it's only a light shower. So yeah, so fingers crossed, play it by ear. Until Summit Carpet comes along, I'm going to drink this and I'll get back to you later, Carpers.
morning carpers nothing in the night unfortunately apart from a couple of rain rain showers I've uh, had to go and visit the facilities so I wound in early went to use the facilities redone the rods um, yeah see what today brings just got myself a coffee yeah so there's a chap in peg 13 he had oh, I think he had two or three yesterday afternoon stroke evening um, chap in five four three two I think it's peg one he had he had one just as it went dark last night so yeah So a couple of people left. One more's arrived. Never been here before, so I don't really know the lake. Um, but I just think I wound in this morning and I had a bit of crap, a bit of silt on the end of my um, hook length. So I just wonder if I've gone too close to the island, even though the chap in peg um, three. He's literally bumped his bait boat into the island, so he's mega tight. But I've just got a few trees my side, and I just wondered if I was too close. So I've come about a rod length off now. So my left hand rod is just sort of, um, I don't know if I can show you. Just around about here. And my middle rod is round about here a rod length off and then my right hand rod i've put out can't quite see that bear with sorry so my middle rod my, sorry my right hand rod i've just put out here probably four rod lengths five rod lengths out so yeah that's where i put that one so I just put too near the island I'm on mid water. Um, let's see how we get on with that one. I've got a white dumbbell wafter, which is the, the, the seafood, I believe. And then my middle rod, I've got the Nuts 365, because why wouldn't you? It works for me. But not as yet it isn't. And on my right hand rod, which is mid water, I've gone for a live system. Um, don't know too much about the lake, like I said. I've had a walk around, had a chat with other, other anglers and see, to try and get a feel of what bait works. <sighs> the two chats, what's caught? They're just caught on you run the mill stuff so they didn't really give too much away if i'm honest but yeah but we'll see we'll see um bit cloudy but dry at the minute i think it's meant to rain again today i don't know but it is what it is so i was going to say i was going to get back in my pit but my little one has jumped out of her bed into my bed. All because my bed's slightly wider. Now, I had a um, avid compact sleep system, and I just found it was a little bit tight for me. Um, just didn't have much room to move around when you wanted to turn over. So, I had a look at bed chairs when I went to the big one show and I've now gone I've now gone for a Nash Intolerance Indulgence wide system. Um so yeah, a lot more comfortable for me. Even though she said her bed's really comfortable and she loves it, she's jumped out of her pit into mine. But anyway, 
I'm going to drink this, watch the water, see how we get on, and uh, go from there. And see you later. See you later, carpers. Hello, carpers. <coughs> Still nothing to report. Apart from we've had breakfast. And that's about it. Uh, peg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Peg eleven had one this morning. Twelve, th peg thirteen. I think it's thirteen. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it might be thirteen. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen, maybe. I don't know. Thirteen or fourteen. Um, he had another one. So yeah, he's had another one. So. I think he's had about 10 now in total. I think he needs to share the love. My neighbour in peg three, he's had one this morning. And he about three or four pound. Apart from that, no one else is caught. So it's a bit tough going at the minute. To be honest. Just had a chat with Mark and Zoe in the shop really lovely genuine people got plenty of time for you yeah so that was nice to have a chat with them it's you know, it's nice to, to, to have a chat you know, someone like Mark's calibre uh, you know, he's obviously fairly well known in the cart world that he, he has plenty of time to chat to you. He, he, you know, he, he won't just sort of flob you off and just call it quick. You know, someone else came in the shop. He didn't sort of drop the conversation and go on to them. So, yeah, it's really nice to have a chat with them. Really lovely people. So, yeah, that was nice. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, it's too dry. I don't really know, not a lot else to say. So, I am going to drink my second cup of coffee of the day and sit here and watch the water. There was a bit of fizzing in front of me earlier on, but now the um, there's a few little ripples on the water now, so I can't see the fizzing now. But yeah. Not quite sure what to do, so we're just um, sit here, watch the water, and work out a plan of action. So yeah, we're um, see how it goes. So anyway, he's going there. So if he goes, I suppose that is fish from there. Okay. Arguably, that's arguably where he's put his boat. Arguably, that is Swim Four's water. Well, you could argue it's Swim Four or mine, but yeah. Like I say, I'm going to sit here, work out a plan of action. See where we get on. And hopefully the rain holds off. So, fingers crossed, we'll see you later with a fish. Till later, carpers. Ah, good afternoon, carpers. Still no fish to report, <laughs> unfortunately. There's um two people to my right in pegs one and three. They've now gone. So I pinched a little bit more water to my right. So I've got my rods a little bit more separated now. 
I've got one directly out in front of me. Oh, I'll show you actually. Let me just turn you around. Bear with. So my left hand rod now is just roughly there, about two foot off the bank, and then my middle rod is just sorry. Just there, that's the middle rod, and my left hand rod I've put roughly about mid water out here in line with swim freeze, num swim freeze, swim freeze hut. Um, if no one comes in tonight to my right, if they if those pegs stay empty tonight, I am tempted to put one just on the point of this island here is my plan if no one comes in those swims tonight I'm gonna to push one out to there and then um, see how we go from there um, but yeah let me turn you around again there we are so yeah so that's the plan tonight if no one um, if no one comes in into the two right hand swims to my right I will uh, put one on the corner of that island but there's no no fish come out at all today um, apart from the one in opposite well not opposite me but to my left um, which is, runs parallel to the motorway because there's a motorway behind the bank over there um, I think he's pegged 11 something like that um, he had one early doors this morning and my neighbour had one at 8 o'clock but apart from that, nothing's come out. Nothing at all. Um, oh, a little bit of news. Now, I know we don't get on with Canadian geese and swans and that. I know they're all a pain in the backside. But if you if you hook one by accident or it gets your line by accident, if you can't free it, at least ring the bailiff or ring the lake owner or go and see someone who's who can get maybe get a boat um, yeah um, Mark had to go and retrieve Canadian geese today um, it must have got caught up in someone's line last night on that far bank and it's basically got the hair rig in its wing but not only that it's wrapped the line around its neck and it's and it strangled itself um, it's not a nice way, you know, I know we don't, I know these things are a pain in the backside, like I say, but come on, we don't, they don't deserve to be uh, like that. We're better anglers than that. So, um, yeah, so just, just be a bit mindful. I'm not everybody's like it. I know, you know, most people do go and try and retrieve the line and free the, free the wildlife and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so you know, there was a guy at Tar Farm two weeks ago. Um, so that has been the first week of well, we know April, yeah, March, uh, April. Yes, yeah, so that has been tail end of March. I was there. I think it's in my previous blog. Um, a swan took his line and it took his hook length, but he managed to get the swan in. Put a rag over its eyes, over its head, so it didn't get distressed. Unhooked it and freed it. Perfect. No, yes, they're a pain in the ass, but they were here before us. So, you know, if you, if you do hook one, attempt to try to try and free it if you can. If not, ask for someone else's help to to help you. Other anglers will help if you ask. I'm sure. If not, and, and there's a shop on site, go to the shop, tell them, or ring the bailiff and let them know, and they'll come down and give you a hand. Um, you know, there's no need just to ignore it or just cut your line and not worry about it. So let's just be a little bit mindful, please, anglers. So, yeah, apart from that, um, I've changed my hook baits so. Just trying to try something a little bit different. So now 
on my left hand rod I've got a red robin um, pellet and then my middle rod I've got a CC more tuner Pacific, Pacific Pacific tuner and then my right hand rod I've put a DNA SL S A S L K S L K dumbbell wafter. So change the hook baits. I've come away from my faithful hinders three six five nuts three six five. That is my um my go to bait. Um but yeah nothing doing. Been here now what have we done now? A fair few hours and not even a sniff so um let me try and stop that bear with um that's better so yeah um nothing was doing on them as much as i got a lot of faith in the nuts 365 nothing was doing so i changed all three and then see where we go now and then um well, that's it and too later on i'll redo the rods tonight like i say i want to push my right hand rod out to that island if no one else comes up my middle rod will stay where i put that but i might just freshen the bait up and the left hand rod i'll definitely have to change that um because i just imagine the pellet will um i just imagine the pellet will talking to you so there's nothing come out the guy over in hut 11 looks like his son or daughter's just rods just gone off so yeah i think they might be uh might be in the process of landing one he's reeling it in now as we speak um so yeah um so yeah, definitely I'm have to change that um, pellet. But that won't last all night, definitely. So um, we're uh, we'll give it a uh, a try for us. You know, what's, what's the time now? Time is twenty to four. So we will give that a good go into six o'clock, maybe seven o'clock, and then I'll redo redo them and see how we get on. He's just landing that fish now. So that's the first one of during the day that's come out. Oh, you can see young in there. Look, there she is. Oh, we had to put down Tesco's because she ran out of hot chocolates. So we had to go and get her some hot chocolate. So, um, yeah. So anyway, apart from that, I'll get back to when I catch a fish. Fingers crossed. Or an update of what I've done. See you later, carpers. See you later. Well, good evening, carpers. Rods are just, just been ready, re-rigged for tonight's session. As normal for me, as you probably well know by now. Normal lead clip system. Quick and easy. That's how I always fish. So, yeah. And then this one is a pineapple wafter from, bear with me. So, so yeah, that one's a pineapple wafter. And that is from Sticky Pineapple. pop up that's on that rig and as you can see another yellow pop up on that rig and that one is live system yellow pop up that's that one and then the last one which is oh, bear with me 
Uh, so pink mufter, and that is hinders seafood. Dumbbell wafter. Add a bit of a chat. Hang on, let me spin you around. Sorry. Yeah. Add a bit of a walk round. Add a chat with a few of the anglers. What's left on here? Um, the guy opposite me who's had the most fish and the biggest fish I gathered um, was a thirty-four pound common. And that is his PB. Um, all this fish have come on um, on uh, yellows. So I'm going to try two on yellow and one on pink. Last night, so yeah, fingers crossed we can get some in the night or even before the night. So yeah, um, from what they're telling me, I haven't been going close enough to the island. But when I reel it back in, it's bringing in some debris. So I don't know if that's because I'm reeling it in or I've gone through. Um, well, I've re reeled it through some debris and it's brought it in or is it actually sitting in debris. I do put a, um, a, like a, a nugget on the end of it just to let it go down nicely so it doesn't so it shouldn't be sitting in any crap on the bed. But yeah. So these rods are going to go out in the next 10 minutes. Time is now quarter seven. Well, that time's gone. Don't know where that time's gone. Um, so yeah. So they're going to go out to seven o'clock, if not a little bit earlier. And then uh, that'll be them for the night, unless we get summer in the night or before the night. It's been cold. As you can see, I've been wrapped up. So, um, Litton's making a coffee again. Bless her little heart. Um, so, yeah. But it, that's too, no, it's bitterly cold and um, not a very pleasant wind. But lucky enough, we're on the back of the wind. So, the wind's coming in, in our hut. But at the back of our hut rather than in front of our hut. So, yeah. So, anyway, I shall just think what I'm going to do, I am going to do what I said earlier, I, I've went and checked with the bloke opposite me, um, he's happy for me to go to that side of the island for me, I'll just flip you around and just remind you, so no one's turned up to my right, so all those pegs on my right are all free, so I can go to the island here, on the edge there, um, he can't see me, he can't get round that side, so yeah, he's happy for me to go there. So I'm going to put one rod there. He did sort of mention that fish, he has fished this swim before, and he's had fish where these two trees are, just here. So I don't know to put one here as well, just for the night. Um, I'm still um and hour about that one. And my other rod... I'm going to put, well, this second silver birch here. Um, but he has said, or I might even put, he, or just there's um, some dead shrubbery there. Um, I might put it there. And he says, just bump it up into the bank. So from what he's saying, I haven't been going close enough to the bank so, I am gonna. I know where one's definitely going. So the other two, I'm an hour and about it. So, uh, yeah. But once they're out, they're out there for tonight. Unless, um, unless I catch some up. So, fingers crossed. So, fingers crossed. We can uh, get one over early evening or through the night. I don't want a blank. No one wants a blank. Um... And I don't want to blank for you guys, but it is what it is. You know what carp fishing's like. This water is a tricky water. It's another new venue for me. Um, so, yeah, it's just trying to unlock it. But we'll give it a go. We'll find out what baits work and what don't work. Um, so, yeah, so... Um, 
we'll give it a go. So fingers crossed, we're out some early doors or in the night. Catch you later, Carpers. Well, uh, good evening, Carpers. Nothing to report. She sees some baby ducklings. Canada, Canada geese was trying to chase them off. Um, yeah, no fish to report, unfortunately. Roger set out on where the, where I or spots that I showed you. So it's just a case of fingers crossed now and uh, hope for the best. Time is ten to nine on our last night. So with a bit of luck. We'll have summer. <clears throat> so yeah, we just gotta hope and pray really. She's very confident. But we'll see. We'll see. So yeah. So nothing to report capture wise. Just a quick sign off for the night and then uh, hopefully see you draw in the night if not we'll see you in the morning it's trying to rain again so yeah come on the cup what? so too later if not later see you in the morning good night carpers Uh, morning carpers here we are on the final morning it's now 10 o'clock we've got to be off at by six o'clock but we've probably gone before that nothing in the night unfortunately um, just went down to use the facilities spoke with the guy in the shop he's gave me some tips um, so I've now gone a wafter, a pink wafter, trimmed down, topped off with fake yellow sweet corn. Uh, that's on one rod. The other rod I've got a pink uh, pop-up, cut in half, trimmed down with a yellow topper of sweet corn. And the third rod I've gone two fake sweet corn yellow so yeah so that's what he's advised he said uh, it's tough going at the minute he did say he said, but he said peg five which i'm in is a uh, a fairly good let a fairly good swim and i've also come two rod lengths off the bank now so fingers crossed that produce a fish before we gotta go otherwise we're staring our faces with a blank and I haven't had one in for a while. So yeah, so it's a slow pack down now. Not too much to put in. At least I haven't got to put a wet bivy away. That's a bonus. We just had a, a bit of a rainstorm, which made everything wet again. So trying to drive things out as best we can. And uh, yeah, going to have a bit of brekkie now. And then, like I say, we'll have a slow pack down, tidy things up and uh see how we go from there so fingers crossed fingers crossed we can get a fish before we leave so hopefully you'll see me shortly with a carp on the bank if not it'll be the outro keep carping uh afternoon carpers that's the end of i'm calling it then it's quarter three i said we'll be finished about three o'clock still no fish Really enjoyed it. I ain't going to have too much of an outro. Um, enjoyed it down there. Um, I think she enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's been cold. It's been windy. There's been a few fish out on the other side. We clearly was just on the wrong side, but it is what it is when you book your swim. But hey -o, the rods have got to be out to be in with a chance. So that's the end of this session. It's a blank, unfortunately. I haven't had one of them for a long time, but I'll be back at this venue 
um, on Friday with Outcast Carper Social. So, yeah. So this blog will be out first, then obviously that one will follow. Um, but yeah, that would be <coughs> that be on Friday. We're here Friday to Sunday, so that's going to be a bit of a giggle and a laugh. I don't hold out too much about catching on that particular day because it, there'll be a lot of lines in the water, and we'll all be fighting for space. But it's all about social and enjoying ourselves. Um, it'd be good to meet them, you know, so yeah, looking forward to that. So that's then this session with a blank. Hopefully the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I might have to squeeze one on the bank just to save a, another blank. But until then, carpers, we're off home. Keep on carping. Keep on carping.